My name is Lorena Salazar. I am a Mexican diplomat. I've been uh, posted in New Orleans for three and a half years. And uh, I am the head of the Protection Department and Legal Affairs. And I am also, uh, since uh, 2018, the director of the Mexican Cultural Institute. Well, the Mexican Cultural Institute seeks to promote uh, Mexican culture through the diffusion of arts, uh, Mexican arts and literature, visual arts, cinema, music and gastronomy. Our job as Mexican diplomats is to promote talent, Mexican artists throughout the world. We also want to start a dialogue between cultures. The general rhetoric about my country, about Mexico, hasn't always been positive. People relate Mexico to violence and drug cartels, and we want uh, people to know that Mexico is a rich country with many faces and voices yet to be heard and known, and, and, and we want to uh, be part of that conversation. Um, so every year we work on a schedule of exhibitions to be shown throughout the year and we can choose uh, these exhibitions from a catalog. This catalog was made by the Mexican Ministry of Foreign Affairs with curated exhibitions that we can choose from or we contact artists, Mexican artists or local artists with some connection to Mexico or to Latin America and we work in specific projects. Uh, for instance, uh, the exhibition we have right now, uh, Carmen Mariscal's exhibition, that was made specifically for this space. About a year and a half ago, I was invited to a group show in New Orleans and I showed my work uh, with other two Latin American, three Latin American artists, we were four, and one of them, Belinda Flores Chinchillas, who's a Mexican painter, um, and at the time she was working at the Mexican Cultural Center and we talked uh, about the possibility of showing the work here and she presented the project to the Mexican consulate and, and here it is. Well, there are two main bodies of work. One called Calladita Te Ves Más Bonita, which gives the title to the exhibition, and there are marks of lips um, done with different... I asked each woman that I interviewed to choose their favorite lipstick and then d do a mark in a piece of paper, and each piece of paper is like a portrait. So when you see the small pieces of paper, you can see that the lips are in the lower part, and they're like portraits, but all we can see are the marks of their lips, and the marks of the lips are like the are like our, our fingerprints. They're unique to every human being. And the other one is called coiffe, which mean, in French, which means headdress. Um, there are 12 photographs, 12 smaller photographs, um, by, in groups of three that are wearing a different headdress. And the headdresses are made out of barbed wire. And for me, the barbed wire represents the border. So the border between two countries. So in Mexico, we think of the United States as a good friend. We are neighbors, we cooperate in a wide range of matters. We work together on immigration, security, border, trade. This is a true feeling for many Mexicans. We are always friendly and we want to, to uh, have a friendly um, relationship. So any person is always welcome to the consulate. We don't request IDs or legal status, or um, especially we don't care who you love, how you love. Um, people are welcome here, and this is a safe, safe space for everybody. <laughs> 